Hey, rock stars, how you doing? Lid Shaw coming to you from NAMM 2020, and uh, I am chilling with Eli Janney. How you doing, Eli? Good, man. How are you? We, you know, we actually have the same name. I know. Almost, right? Right. So, Lidge is short for Elijah. Elijah. Is Eli short for Elijah? No, Eli is just, just Eli. Eli. Just straight up Eli. Yeah, but my parents stopped at three letters. That was enough. They were like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I had to figure out how to get it down to three letters. It took me a minute. <laughs> well, uh, so Eli is the keyboardist for Late, Late Night, with, Night Seth with Seth Meyers. That's right. right. And also, you were in the band uh, Girls Against Boys. In the 90s, I played in Girls Against Boys. Rockin', That's true. Yep. Yep. And then uh, also, you were the host of the legendary <laughs> audio podcast, Input or Output. Input Output, yeah. Input output. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Well, it was actually a show that got me wanting to do a podcast about audio. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. we were early. We were very early on. Yeah, we don't, well, we're not currently doing anything right now, but we should relaunch it. So one of my favorite shows that you did was a show, a recap from Nam and everything. Yeah. And I believe in that show you guys were talking about using Universal Audio yes. uh, interfaces and plugins to record your mics and your voice through yeah. those plugins. And yeah, yeah. Here we are. Where are we right now? Well, we're at the UA booth, Universal Audio booth, and they are about to launch, or now they're showing it off, a new DAW that they have, which is Very an extension exciting. of what they have been doing before with their console, which was a front end that went in between your DAW and the Apollo interface. So now this is taking a step further where they're integrating recording and it has some, this This is not gonna be out for a few months. So I'm kind of learning about it yeah, as well, totally. but it has some amazing, uh, amazing uh, features on it. Okay, cool. So just like, uh, just like an overview of what's cool about the UA system is you've got a, uh, You've got amazing setting plugins yeah. that are modeled after legendary yeah. hardware yes. made by the same people who built the hardware. Yeah. <laughs> know, what, yeah. know what the answers, the right answers are. But then also they have you know outboard processing to handle all the plug-in processing and things like yes. that. They created one of the first uh, consoles that sort of you go through before you get to your DAW yes. to work with. Yeah, yeah. And now they've sort of closed the loop by adding the exactly. DAW itself. Exactly. Now right? they're just adding the DAW itself. This 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 way they because the chips that handle the processing are built into the interfaces. Right. So this this one has four chips in it. And basically it it by incorporating it into their own DAW, they've basically reduced the latency of their plugins, which are very, you know, they do a lot of processing because yeah. they're emulating analog hardware. Yeah, and they've reduced that basically to nothing or almost nothing. Right, right. Close enough to nothing yeah. so that you Close can use it. In, rock and roll. Yeah, in, in real time, you can yeah. you can use the, all these plugins. And also, they have, and you know, again, I'm just learning about this too, right, right, totally. but basically they have tape emulation on every input and they have Neve summing on the outputs, okay. which can be switched in and out and also graded as well. Okay. But they, it also has uh, some uh, instruments built in. So this session, we have a synth. Here, we'll, we'll bring the camera in close to take a look at what you're doing here. Yeah, so so this this can, this first track is a, is a synth lead. And basically, and unfortunately, we won't be really be able to hear anything in this demo. But we'll show you all this stuff, rock stars. Right. And so they they basically have a, a synth that comes with it, and then this track has a piano. These two are these are all included in the software. Which, oh, so and I here's a piano over here. This piano. Look Bravo. at this beautiful piano. And um, Is that the, the piano that Yanni plays. <laughs> I have no idea. But the other cool thing is that in the editing window this you can actually change the tuning of the track in real time using this slider which is totally bonkers and then also you can also change this this is in a lot of dolls but it's a very cool feature where you can change the actual amplitude the volume of the track from within each each area can be done in a different if you yeah, I think that's smart. We've we've kind of uh, we we expect a lot out of everything yes. that we work with now, right? Yeah. We, it, like you need all the features somehow. It seems like they've covered a lot of this stuff. So it has sends. It's got summing down here, and this summing has this Neve summing plugin built in, and you can trim it up as much as you want. Okay, so let me see if I understand you. So each one of these tracks automatically has tape emulation yes. built onto it. Basically yes. the same tape emulators that everybody's been talking about on my podcast for mixing <laughs> as plugins. Now it's just in the DAW. Yes, exactly. 
And then the master bus has the uh, has processing the, or the, the Neve summing. Neve summing, pretty yes. awesome. Right. You can actually add that stuff also because each each channel also has space for plugins as well. Now, are we able to like just see what a couple of these plugins look like, the tape or the Neve see, or any of that uh, stuff? You know, we we I, forgive uh, you if you don't know which button to <laughs> click yet because this is literally like, brand okay, new so rock stars. This guitar track, for instance, has a, a Neve. I mean, sorry, a Fender 55 Deluxe on it. And you can swap out which mics you have. You can have one or two mics. You can move them around. Like you can angle you can, the, the Royer. Oh, it's very cool. But this is all, these plugins are different than the ones that come in with the, at the top, which are more like the Neve one that I showed you before. Um, you know, the th I wish I knew more about this, but this is also something that's not finalized. It's not going to come out for a few months yet. Yeah. But I think it's pretty exciting that you can now have your Apollo with a recording. And this is free, by the way, if you go, if you buy the hardware. So you can have your whole system with no latency and add plugins as you want. Let's, let's, let's zoom in for a second, just look what this Apollo looks like. Because he's also a really pretty this beautiful a, looking, you know? This is the newer one. It's the X4, and it has basically four mic pre's, which each have unit, what they call a unison, which does mic pre emulation. So you've got API, SSL, Neve. Um, I'm trying to remember the others. There's a, there, but All the good ones? All the good ones. Everything you would want. <laughs> nice. So you would get this interface. Look, it's like it barely takes up any room in your studio. You can get four mics in. And you got your headphone, uh, your, your speaker output, so there's your volume knob, you know, headphone jacks. Two, two headphone jacks, which you can set up separately if you want. Do we know if this is, is this a Thunderbolt or is this, um, this is a, USB or something? It's Thunderbolt, I do believe. Thunderbolt, okay, cool. Uh, the, this, this software will only run on the Thunderbolt versions of the Apollos. Okay, cool. So All right, take it. Um, is there, a, do we know if there's a second window? Is there a mixer window maybe? No idea. Bro. Sure, where is it? Bro. <laughs> You're really, uh, you're freaking me out, bro. Asking the tough <laughs> questions here on day one. It's it's day minus one, actually, isn't it? It's not even out yet. Well, I think I saw it, but you know what? You know, the, the mixers existed in UA, so it's probably an extension of that. It's probably the same one you're familiar with. I just don't know how to access it. All right, well, we'll find out. We'll come back for Rockstars, and we'll let you know how to access it. Well, very cool. Well, Eli, thanks for showing us thanks, this, Lynch. dude. Um, I guess go to... Do, do we know the website? Uaudio.com. Yeah, uaudio.com. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And check yeah. it out. And, dude, thanks. Sure, man. Good to see you, man. I'll give yeah. you a hug again, yeah, man. Yeah, How yeah, you doing, yeah. dude? Good to see you. <laughs> so uh, can I say that you're best friends with my brother? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Eli's also best friends with my brother, which is pretty cool. That's the only cool. reason I'm doing this. <laughs> so shout out to you, Nate. Also, shout out to John and Richard, Rockstars, who suggested that we come by the UA booth and check it all out. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.